Hi, Ketcher here, and you're currently looking at the Depth Collection from Valorant. It's one of my favorite, and I think the effect is quite interesting. So let's figure out how to do that in Kido. Alright, so first, get your model out, plop in some quick animation, and you'll be good to go. Create a new shader material, and add in a new shader. And don't forget, we're working in 3D, so it's a shader type spatial. So we start by doing the fernal effect. To do that, we'll need a fernal color. I took a light color for this. We're gonna need also a base color. So this is the emission one, I took black. And we're gonna need the fernal exponent to calculate the intensity. So I made, I made it a range from 0 to 4 with a 0 0.1 step and default to 1. So now open the fragment function and to calculate the fernal value, you're gonna need to do the dot product from the normal vector and the new a view vector and the intensity we're just going to need to take the fernal value to the power of the fernal exponent and to get the real fernal effect you can take that intensity times the fernal color and now we can take the albedo set it to the emission color we add and add it to the albedo the fernal rgb and now we have a nice fernal effect so now the fernal effect is giving us the opposite of what we want. So we'll need to invert it. To do that, we'll subtract the fernal value from 1. And to calculate the intensity, we'll now use inverted value instead of the fernal value. So let's add in our image. Get a new uniform sampler 2D called image. And we'll set the albedo to the image sampled at the screen UV. And we'll multiply the sampled color by an inverse fernal effect to create a smooth blend between the image texture and the fernal color. Now we can see the image is reversed, so let's fix that by inverting the screen UV. To add distortion, it's very simple. We just have to offset the texture UV by the normal's X and Y components. Multiply that value by some distortion value that we can set as a uniform float. So now you have the depth collection effect from Valorant. Are there any other game effects you want to recreate? Let us know in the comments below. Goodbye, see you next time.